So today I am going to be doing some basic programming um, update. Well, it's actually a calculator update. I have, um, for a really long time, I know I just released that uh, well, nuclear balloon video, and it may not sound like the balloons uh, were very loud in the video because my microphone is not great on. What I wanted to show you is uh, some basic programming that I've done. Alright, so here is HEI 83 Plus. And I'm going to go to my programs. I have made several games, and yes, these did come off of a website. Some of them I've made myself, like Game, which is a um, Minesweeper type game. Radar, I actually didn't make that. Quest, hopefully Quest is working. Oh, this isn't the request that I was doing. You have to collect all the pluses. And yeah, that's the whole point of the game. It's the time waster. It's still in progress though, because look what happens. You can eat the walls. I didn't set the walls to uh, stop your motion. And yeah, I probably should do that. Yeah, and I should probably fix that eye that covers that place. Yeah, it's a time waster. And then I have Ice, which is actually just a fall game. I'll do fast. Yeah, see, it's like this game you have to dodge the uh, V's, the O. See if you hit um, the O, you die. Yeah, um, we've all seen this stuff. We've all seen it. We've even seen Pong and um, Radar. Well, actually, no one's seen the Radar program. That's pretty cool, though. Hold on. Okay, that's messed up. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well. It shouldn't be like that, though. Yeah, we've all seen the classic programs for these things in TI-84 compatible. We've even seen the newer versions for the calculators. We've even seen that TI-86s are capable of doing that. But have you ever seen a TI-81 do it? Well... Let's see now. Yeah, this one's got the little dodgy display. And I'm... Yeah, it's super faded. Believe it or not, I can't see a thing. Okay, I'm just gonna look through the camera. See, you've got this. You've got your programs. I didn't actually program these. These came preloaded. Yeah, you don't have very much. Here, let me show you. You've got your program command, and this is all you get for, um, yeah, look. That, this is all you get. You get your input, you got your display command, you got your clear home command, you got your label, you got your go to, you got an if, you got your is, um, okay, this, 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 yep, 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 you got everything here. And then plus, you've got this. Then you got that, then you've got, not, not that, you got your live bars, this, this, then you got your mode, you got all this, of course you got your zoom, you got your range that you can set, and then you got four. You got four of those. But on TI 84, you're supposed to get this. You get up to 10. This only supports four. I bet you can actually make more, but I haven't tried. So, yeah. And you, of course, you got your VARs. Um. 
You don't have very much. I mean, you've got... Cat, what are you doing? This is the second time. <sighs> Sorry, guys. This happens. Also, as you can notice, um, so those of you who do not know about the TI-81, there is no link port, so you can't hook it up to your PC. So everything you have to do is pure basic. You can't go on the computer, download any games or anything. Actually, the games that I have on this and this are, are games that I did that were pure basic. And, well, yeah, pure basic. They just you took the commands down and I put it in the program list. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, you also have your stat. You have your stat. You have your matrix. You only get three. You have your math uh, command. You have your math command. You get all that good stuff. But you don't have very much to work with. And my goal... Of course you have these. Every, every calculator comes preloaded with this stuff. Alright, my goal is to make a fully functional RPG game for this. With graphics and everything. That is my plan. Yeah, and if, if you didn't notice, this was actually my dad's calculator. Yeah, from high school. I should have updated this a long time ago. I have a USB floppy drive now. I have discs. But the only problem is, is I the discs that I want to read are not the type that you could read in. I have single density mini disc single densities. And I kind of want to play Indiana Jones. These are, I think this is pirated. Yeah, the first disc. Yeah, they look gross, but that's only the labels. The discs look okay. The labels and the paper covers just look disgusting. Of course, you have you have these the warning labels to keep you from, you know, clipping it, writing on it with the pencil. Yeah, magnets, fingerprints on the actual disc, and then you shouldn't you should keep it away from the sun, and then you should of course keep it away from moisture. But but you know, uh, out here in Kansas, humidity gets uh, pretty high, so that's a big problem. So basic programming for these calculators, very little programming for this. My whole plan, my whole plan for these, for this, is to make a fully functional game for it. This is a start. I want a line, well actually, here. Yeah, that's my, that's what I want. I want it to be, I want the RPG to be, uh, for every picture, I want the picture to display on here. And then, I want to use some, I want to do some display text. This is actually just a test right here. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, this calculator does not have the same keys. So you have... Everything is out of order uh, from a TI-82. No, actually, TI-82 is pretty similar to this. It has a little bit more functions, too. Yeah. It's all out of order, so... I want to press second, ins uh, second insert instead of second clear. Here. Here it is. Yeah. I wanted it... I just did a test on the graph just to make sure it's like that. Yep. All right, so, um, yeah, this is the, uh, near the end of my video, and um, I'm starting to change up my videos a little bit, just go from my beginning stages. You know, I should have done that a long time ago. 
I did not. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my TID one now. I've got this is actually yeah, you can't check the version on the TI-81 because there's no mem memory command. Alright, so here's my... I'm going to show you my operating system for my calculator. Yeah, I have 1.17 for my TI-83+. Plus. This is actually an older version. Well, it's a little bit older. You can see that the arrow keys, the style is a little bit... Yeah, it hasn't been updated in a while. This one. Um, yeah, it's 1.19. It's the most current update, so it's pretty compatible with most games. Uh, not not any of the ones uh, for the TI-80 Plus S. No, TI-80 4 Plus SE, sorry. And this one, of course I can't check it because the screen is... Um, yeah, it's dodgy. The cable in there is all rotted through. Yeah, it's too late to save this, so it's pretty much a uh, full parts and repair thing. Yeah, some stuff. I wish I had a screen recorder, and I got word from my friend that um, iOS 11, well, the beta version that he has, uh, it actually has um, uh, a screen recorder built into it. So that's the end of this video. And, um, I'll see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. If you guys want to suggest anything that I could do for uh, any future videos, please, please comment down below. And I know there's a lot of people watching my gas mask videos and they hope that it was a DIY video as in like, I show you how to create it. But the problem is, I don't have any carbon. I don't have any carbon left. That carbon is spent. I can't open up my filter because I'm just going to ruin my gas mask. I don't want to ruin it again. So, uh, yeah. I uh, yeah, that, that does it for this video. Alright. Um, see you next week. Not next week. Whenever I do a video. Alright.